Hello, everyone, and welcome to TYT Sports. We're talking boxing, as always, with Britain. Oh, wait, no, no, Britain's not in. It's Jimmy Dore. Oh, oh shit. Oh, my God. It's Britain Harden and Jimmy Dore's body. <laughs> Jimmy, what's going on? I'm ready. We're here to talk about Broner, right? Broner and Maidana, yes. And, Broner uh, and, and Maidana. Then the, and the undercard, too, we'll talk about it. But um, uh, what we're do not you trying to waste Jesus Godoy's time, so maybe we'll get to it. Okay, okay. well, maybe Thurman, we'll it's a bit. It's an important fight. I think people should, are going to enjoy it. All I'm right, so enjoy we'll, it. we'll get to that in just a moment. Okay. Meanwhile, Adrian Broner, he's coming off a win in Brooklyn against Pauli Malinaji. Now, we were split on that, basically. Now, I and, thought it was obvious that Broner won, but... Uh, barely, though. But I thought barely. 115-113 was totally fine with me. Yeah, okay, but that's, okay, that's still seven rounds to what? Seven to five. Yeah, seven to five. Yeah, I mean, I, you had to give it to Broner because he landed the harder punches, but there were times where he took half of rounds off, maybe yes, 45 he seconds off. at a time, and that's totally unacceptable. I'm not a Broner fan. Okay, are you a Malinaji fan? Nah, no. worse. Okay, all right, all right. So, so you're so you're a little bit objective on this. For me mm -hmm. personally, when I was watching that, and tell me what you thought about this, Malinaji was putting in work. He was yes. he, he was I, he was fighting his ass off in well, that fight. You know, fight. I actually turned to my wife during that fight and I said, "Is Adrian Broner turning me into a Pauli Malinaji fan?" <laughs> Seriously? Yes, because I started to root for him. Oh. I was like, "Go ahead, beat him up, beat him fucking up no. right now." But he couldn't, and that's the and problem. And that's the problem. He's got no power, right? right? So, I mean, can he get in? I seven don't know knockouts, how, I believe, five or seven uh, to his resume. And three that's of them it. were against his sister. The point is. <laughs> Why can't they teach you how to have a little power? No. Can you go to a Bruce Lee school or something and they teach you how to do it? Anyway, it's just weird that Paul Imana, because I do like that he jabs a lot. Oh, yeah. I he, like he that loves he working off the jab. It's amazing how many boxers don't use the jab. Meanwhile, some of them rhymes with jab, Zab Judah. Zab Judah. Horrible Judah. fight. Well, he did, did an Zab Judah even try? He fucking didn't even show up for that no, fight. It was the same thing. So uh, I think Paul Imana Janaji, people, he brings other fighters down to his level. You really think so? so well, you explain those two fights back to back, right? I can't explain the Broner fight because I was waiting for him to just be like, all right, you know what? I know I have the power. I know I have the just speed. Just walk through You him. know what? I'm just going to fuck him up yeah. whenever I want to. And he didn't. He chose not to do it for some odd reason. In the Judah fight, Zab was never there. He, he, never. He, you, you see his pops going, come on, you got to work the one, two, bang, 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 bang. He'd be like, Right. So what right, is that, cool. Ricky? What is it when a guy won't fucking throw his hands? Okay, so Britton and I were watching the fight together, and he basically told me he's gun shy. He, Why? Keeps, he keeps doing the he keeps doing the pop and the, and the double jab, but it's so far away from his opponent. And then he starts second guessing himself when he's throwing that second pop jab when it's not hitting. He's trying to measure his distance, mm -hmm. but he's gun shy for some reason. He's just shot well, and he's I'm, gun shy. Well, that's what I'm saying. Like, why don't you let your? Well, I, whenever I see a fighter not let his hands go, I, I kind of understand. Okay, the other guy's hitting him hard. Harder. Yeah, but Paul, he's not. No, he's not gonna. He no. can hit you all day. He's not gonna knock you out. So why wouldn't Zab Judah just walk through that guy, no just idea. like Broner? Because he's gun shy. He's gun shy. He doesn't want to get hit. Okay. And he doesn't want to give. He he wants to give the beating. He can't allow his mind. Yeah. To well, go forward and just say, you know what? If I eat a few punches from Paulie Malignaggi, right. sure, I'm still gonna throw. He's no Kirkland. Tell you that <laughs> no, he is certainly no Kirkland. But it just no shows Kirkland. you the game is won up here more times than not. Absolutely. No more times than not. Fantastic point. So so Broner is 24 years old. He's already won in three weight classes. He's fighting Marcos Maidana. He's talking it, big, too. He, oh, doesn't he always? He's talking big. Well, he's, he talk, he's, he's like he's going to be the next Mayweather. Yeah, he's basically like, all right, when Mayweather retires, he's not that good. I got boxing. I'm going to be cool. Boxing's going to be fine with me. I mean, let me ask you this. Now, I'm, I, don't give your prediction yet. Don't tip your hat. Broner's 27-0. Maidana's only lost three fights. They both have a very, very impressive resume of knockouts. But let me ask you this. Can Broner sort of use that Philly shell defense and try to try to knock away Maidana's power and not get hit by Maidana? Everybody Will he be slowed down. Everybody say, everybody thinks so. I mean, everybody everybody that I read says that you know the Broner's gonna, is going to be an easy fight for him. I don't see. No, I don't. I, I don't see. I think Maidana. I'm rooting for Maidana. I don't like him. And I'm rooting for him to be. You don't Broner. like anybody. I don't do you? like. It's, 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 it's more times than not. It's about who I hate less. Gotcha. And, and with boxing. Okay. And then this time, it's definitely that. And uh, uh, I'm not a Bronner fan. Are you? It's Even hard. It's hard. I know you met him. No, I didn't meet you him. You didn't meet him? No, no, no. Oh. No, no, no. I didn't Who meet did him. Who did you meet that you got a picture with at the Grove? Andre Berto. Oh, Berto. Oh, nice okay. guy. Yeah, Very humble guy. I like guy. Berto. Uh, with I Broner, actually, no, there's a guy I like. I yeah, like well, we could talk about that when we get to Soto Caras. Um, with Broner, I like his style. I think that he's very, very talented. And he is going to... 
It's weird to say, but he might take over boxing because he might be the biggest name once Pacquiao and Mayweather retire because I don't really know who's going to be this impressive and this talented as he is. But with Broner, it just it's something about me watching his fights where I'm saying, you know what? He gets hit by one power punch. I mean, his 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 hardest test was Pauli Malignaggi, yeah. who can't knock anybody what does that out, tell you? and Vicente Escobedo. I mean, like those were tough fights, and those were cakewalks for him. So what's going to happen when he fights a guy who has the power? Not necessarily the speed. Out of anything, what I think he's going to do is mold himself after Mayweather. Not that he already has not done that. Yeah. He has. But he's going to sort of stay on the outside. He's going to avoid Try getting hit, get hit. And he's going to counter is what I personally think is going to happen. Will, I mean, what do you think? Uh, you know, we'll see. I often think that, you know, people who try to ape other people's styles doesn't often work. But we'll see what happens. It's working for him, I guess. Certainly. But like you said, you know, his ta he, I don't think he's been tested correctly. He has not, no. And so no. Uh, I think this will be a test. I actually do. I think, you know, he's got the power in his hand madonna he's got the power so doesn't broner so let's see well i mean we'll see yeah we'll see what happens though why didn't he fucking knock out paul that's the thing whenever a guy fights like that i just want to see him get put on his ass i don't know maybe it's because the other guy was shit talking just as much as he was maybe, when know. it was the whole girlfriend thing oh, and paulie was bagging it. it yeah i remember it it was fantastic <laughs> maybe it's because this shit talking was almost outdone by Pauli Malignaggi to Adrian Broner. I have no idea. I'm not in his head. I've, I'm, I've, I don't know. I have no idea. But let me uh, let me so get my, a, my prediction. Is, yes. Is I, is I'm predicting with my heart that Madonna will knock him out. Really? Yeah. Madonna's gonna knock out Broner. I'm, that's my heart. No fucking way. Oh yeah. Yeah. You don't think he can? What? He can. He's not of going to. He can. He's not going to. All right. We'll see. All right. We'll see. Mono I, Monopoly money. How much you want to bet? I bet fifty dollars. All right, fine, fifty dollars. That he doesn't knock him out. I say he does. Uh, yeah. Okay. Ma Madonna. Right. Ma Monopoly money, by the way, Janice okay. Trump. So, okay, very quickly, the undercard. By I the way, I just sold a camera that I found these... there back here, so I have some oh, money. Okay, sweet. <laughs> I didn't, so I don't. <laughs>